Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel. Today I'd like to show you a bit about using still images with live video using TriCaster. The graphics bin in the TriCaster can be used to bring in title templates for lower thirds and embed information like scores, stats, etc. But you can also use it to bring in still images into your broadcast for things like picture-in-picture, -picture, slideshows, and a few new tricks. So, let's dive in and show you how it's done, son. Alright, so here we are again in the lovely TriCaster TC1 interface. So I'm going to be just basically looking at only the graphics tabs today. So let's go ahead and I'm going to start off in my graphics 2 bin and show you just kind of what these graphics bins would be used for. So uh, I can go ahead and click on this plus button here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, or I can just double click inside the uh, graphics bin itself. And then I can go through and start to look up different things in here. So I'll, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a title uh, to our particular uh, broadcast here. So let's find this one. Grab that. Throw that in there. And let me go ahead and I have my downstream here, number three, assigned to my Graphics 2 tab so that I can bring that on screen like this. All right, cool. But let's go ahead and change that and let's make that a little bit more dynamic. And so we can type in here, for example, uh, Team New Tech. And I'll do All Stars. All right. Now that's your typical, uh, one of the typical uses of a, using your graphics tab within the TriCaster so you can bring on a lower third and like, hey, check it out, Team New Tech, all stars, how about that? Okay, but another way that you can use your graphics tab is to bring in some still images and this is where I want to go into a little bit more detail. So I'm going to move over to the graphics one bin and let's start to bring in some images here. All right, so let me go ahead and let's go through and I'm just going to use the ones that we have within the New Tech library here. Bring in my baseball player. All right, so now I have a, uh, our baseball legend over here in my graphics number one tab, which I also have in my uh, downstream keyer over here. And so this is where you can do things that are a little bit more fun. Like I can go ahead and bring in my uh, lower third and then also an image on top of it. So we'll do, let's go ahead and do that. And boom. So now I have, you know, uh, my Team New Tech All-Star there. Good to go. Let's go ahead and take those off screen again. And now, so that's another way you can bring in like a picture in picture, for example. Uh, but also, there's some more things that you can do within these graphics bins. So let me go ahead and bring in a whole bunch of different stills here. So I'm going to grab my other sports players. Let's grab them. Oops. Let me select them all. I can eventually. There we go. All right. So now I have a whole bunch of these in here right now. Okay, so now if I just go through and bring those all on screen, it's just going to bring them on screen individually and not really doing anything. But you can use the graphics bins to also make this a playlist. So if we go down and take a look at our playlist here, uh, controls, uh, I can have this set to where it'll be in a list mode and also a loop mode. And let's go ahead and I'm going to turn on autoplay because what's going to end up happening is it's going to start off on my first player and with autoplay on, as soon as it is done with the five second timing of these particular still images, those are all going to be brought in by default uh, at five second intervals. So let's go ahead and bring that on screen. Bring those all back on screen the same way I had it. So what it'll do, so now you'll see in my DDR bin, I have a timeline going through and then it'll just start going to the next uh, player that I have in here and then it'll go to the next one, five seconds. Etc. So kind of just going down the road and uh, showing you your different players on a slideshow type format. All right, let's go ahead and bring them off screen and let's do a little bit more. So uh, right now, whenever I was going advancing to the next player within my graphics bin, it was just doing a straight cut to those particular um, uh, players that I have. But I can also add transitions in here as well to make that look a little bit more dynamic. So I'm going to go ahead and just select all of them and then I'm going to click the plus button here at the bottom. And now I'm going to go through and find some of my transition tools. So let's go ahead and I'm going to say, let's see these fades in here. I'll do this one, this checkerboard one. Why not? All right. That way you can see it a little bit more dynamically. Okay. So let me bring those all on screen again. We'll start off with our first player and let's check it out. So again, it's playing these again. And now check it out. Whoop. Now it does a cool transition over to the next player. And again, I have this set up to be five second intervals uh, between these particular uh, shots coming in. So a great way to do a little slideshow kind of thing. 
Now, there's some more things that we can do with this. Let me go ahead and bring these off screen. Because uh, right now, this it, right now it just has these particular graphics bins set up to be uh, uh, five seconds for the images that I'm going to play out. Now, you can change that in a number of different ways. So, uh, for example, I'm just going to highlight everybody here. And let me right click on any of these images and check this out. I can go up to duration and then I can set that to whatever I want. So if I want it to be two seconds, a one second, you know, 15 seconds, or I can say custom, let's go ahead and just type in uh, seven seconds here. All right. And when I did that, now you'll see that all of these different images have their play uh, time have been extended for seven seconds. So if I bring them on screen again, all right, so we have our first player coming over here. And then now in seven seconds, it will do that transition to the next player. All right, cool, cool, cool. But let's say in the middle of our broadcast, we want to start to add some more images uh, in here. Uh, what we would have to do is, let me go ahead and bring these all guys off screen, is I'll go back into my uh, graphics bin and let's find some more images. So we'll bring in some other images that we have within the TriCaster. So I have all these, these are just the ones that are come installed in your system here. So I'll grab these guys and drop them into my production. So especially if you're using a whole bunch of different stills, uh, there's going to be a few things to notice here. So let me go ahead and also highlight all of them. Oop, sorry, hitting wrong buttons here. All right. And I'm going to hit the plus button down here and let me grab that transition that I was using. Or we can grab another one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do the checkerboard. All right, and now these have transitions. But now keep in mind, I only went through and set up the duration for these particular stills to be seven seconds long. And the other ones that I added, by default, those are five seconds. Okay, now if you're working with a whole bunch of different uh, images going through here, it can be annoying to be like, ah, I gotta go through and select all of these, right click on them, duration, custom, and then put in seven colon zero zero seconds and now those are seven seconds. Now there's another way to use macros within the TriCaster to customize the duration of which your stills are going to be playing back as if you're doing a slideshow. All right so let's take a look with a brand new macro. All right so let's go up to the top of the screen and click on macros, configure macros and I'm going to go into my session macros here and create a new macro and let's just call this one still duration customization. All right, and I'm going to click edit. And then from in here, this brings up our still duration customization tool. And so what I'm going to do is into my shortcut, uh, I'm going to type in this particular new macro. Let me expand that a bit so you can see it. So what that macro is, is set underscore default underscore still underscore duration. All right, and then from here, you'll go to the value portion of your macro editor, and then you can put in whatever you want your, your clips to be playing out as. So I'm just going to have this set for six seconds, all right, and I'll hit that. And now let's go ahead and play that macro and check this out. Now, automatically, everything that's within my graphics bin has now been updated to six seconds each. And now, if I just go in and bring in some other clips, or stills, I should say. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Go back at the top here. Utility, let's grab. Actually, just go in here. And I'll grab these city shots. Since I've already run that macro, now whatever clips that I, sorry, stills that I put into my graphics bin, those are all going to come in at six seconds. So I can then, again, go through and add some transitions to them. Do, 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 do. We'll do another one all together. All right. And this time, let's go ahead and start over here. And now let's go ahead and bring in those, uh, st those stills. So I'm have, I have my downstream keyer 2 and downstream keyer 3 linked together. So now when I click this auto button, it will bring all those on screen. And I have autoplay running here in the background. So you'll see that I am now running those particular shots uh, as a playlist. And as you see, as I'm going through here, every six seconds, it will go and tra uh, 
uh, transition to the next uh, clip that I want to bring in here. So a really good way for you to customize your workflow so you can do really cool slideshows like this and a whole lot more. All right, well that about wraps it up. I hope this video helps expand your new tech knowledge. For more nuggets of new tech wisdom, subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for more information on new tech products and services, talk to your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. Also, be sure to visit newtech.tv where you can see all the latest new tech product updates, interviews with TriCaster users, third-party developers, and a whole lot more. And if you're posting your work that you're using uh, with new tech products on social media, use the hashtags new tech or TriCaster. I love seeing how people are using TriCasters to enhance their stories. So, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.